Hello friends and welcome back to another episode here on the channel. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we're going to be continuing on with our Series 7 content and featuring a double genie team today in Thunder Asterian form and Lander Asterian form, and then the rest of the team made up with the Entai, Metagross, Amoongus, and Tapu Fini. So one of the reasons why I kind of had the double genies in mind was uh, Regieleki at the minute is going crazy. It's a very strong Pokemon, got absolutely blistering speed, and it's something that you need to have checks for in your team otherwise it's just going to overrun you and build so much momentum that you can't really come back so one of the things that i was looking for was ways to really pin it down and really slow it down a lot stop that momentum and between lander Asterian and thunder Asterian, it they get completely wall it out so that was one point where we started from obviously with the vault absorb uh, regieleki can't do any damage but anything but just heal Thunderous Theory in form and obviously the ground type on Landorus makes it immune anyway. Um, and then the kind of team evolved from there. We threw Metagross in with the weakness policy end time because now it gets access to that new hidden ability in a focus, making it incredibly good because it's immune to intimidate support. Obviously gets Bulldoze as well to help proc the Metagross. And then rounding the team off with Amoongus to kind of help with the Trick Room matchups and then Tapu Fini, which is just generally a very strong Pokemon at the minute and fills a few gaps in the team that we've got apparent. So as always in these episodes, we'll have a couple of games with the team, talk about how it functions and then I'll throw the rental team up at the end of the episode. There will be a poker page down in the description below. And without further ado, let's jump onto the ladder and get our first match underway. Okay, we've got a first opponent of the episode and look at this, they're playing. <laughs> this is the team that we've actually just featured in our previous episode. So this is gonna be interesting. Uh, a lot of things to think about here. Obviously the Reggie Drago there with the Tailwind support from the Tornadus um, is gonna be very, very dangerous for us. Obviously the, we know how strong the Rotom Wash is. This is gonna be a very tough matchup for us, honestly. Okay, what are we gonna do? I think we definitely need Finny in this matchup for sure. Um, now we could go Metagross Entai, to be honest. Go for the Bulldoze. I think they're going to lead Rotten Wash. But then the, the Metagross is not good at all. I think we'll go Thunderous as a lead. And I will bring Thunderous and Tapu Fini. I'm going to bring Entai and Metagross in the back. Okay, we'll go with that. This is, gonna, this is a really difficult matchup. And this is like our team. <laughs> Can you believe it? Okay. Literally, I'm not I'm I'm recording this not long after actually uploading that video, so it's really nice to see someone um using the, the team. See how good it is. Team against team. But uh here we go. There's the mama swine. Yep. Okay, well Mama does have life orb, so it is a bit it is a bit scary. Um, I think what we'll do is we can't obviously stop the tailwind. The tailwind is is coming. The thing is, we've got an option where we can grass knot into the mama swine, and we will pick up the knockout onto the mama. But there's not really much we can do to get around. Like it's going to attack into the, the thunderous. I think you go for the thunderous all day long here. There is an option where we could potentially max and go for max vortex into the mama swine. Um, kind of limit our max and ability for the rest of the game, but at the same time, I think it's probably worthwhile. The only issue is if they switch the mama swine here to Rillaboom, or if they go max quake into the Tapu Fini. But I'm hoping we see an Icicle Crash from the Mama Swine into the Tornado. So I think that would make a lot of sense. Yeah, it's definitely our team. Definitely our team. I'm probably the only person that has a Dive Ball Mama Swine. I'm the only person that's crazy enough to do that. I just, I'm just obsessed with Dive Balls. They're just, yeah, the best ball. Best ball. And not best ball, but like my favorite ball. But, you know. Okay, well, there's a Mama Maxing. Like, it would make sense for my opponent here to go for Max Quake, because then, you know, they are ensuring that they're going to take an attack from us. And the Finny and the Thunder... I don't know if the Thunderous even feels like it's a threat to my opponent, to be honest. Like, do they know that we could Grass Knot? Probably not. I don't know. I don't know. I think we've made probably the better, the better move overall. They're never going to Quake into the Thunderous, so... 
Yeah, they make the, the better play here, going into the finny. Oh, we could have stayed in with Thunderous. I just didn't, I just, I just, I just balled it. <laughs> I just balled it. That was it. Simple as. Simple as. Uh, okay, well, we are going to get some damage onto the Mama Swine. It has got that special defense boost, which is definitely going to help it out. But we do get the rain up as well, which is nice. So, there is that aspect to it all. Right, well... I think we pull a switch back to Thunderous now. Um, and I'm going to stall a turn of their max. And stall a turn of ours as well. I'm just going to max guard. Because it's likely... Do they go on? Do they double into Finny here? I think they go max quake into Entai. Although, no. Entai is not posing any threat right now. So, the, the switch from my end might be obvious. Uh, so if we get caught out, I mean, if we get caught out, then that's that. You just take my imaginary hat off to my opponent for calling uh, the Thunderous coming back in here. <laughs> Max guarding, huh? Okay, okay. Well, don't mind this too much. We're gonna see the tornadoes do. Okay. It just goes air slash into us just to get a bit of chip damage onto us. Now I think they double Finny here, in all honesty. Like what's gonna be more useful overall in this match for us? I think probably Ah Finny could be very useful. Like if, if Reggie Drago's in the back. I think I would go after I think what we'll do is switch back into Entai. We'll pull it. We'll pull that switch and we'll go after we'll go after the, the Mamo with the rain up. We should get it. I mean they're gonna be plus two special defense, but they're gonna take recoil damage. And we have got the rain kind of boosting us this turn, so it'll be very close. Um for us picking the knock up out. Yeah, slash. Yeah, we're just doing nothing. And the quick, yeah. Okay. Where are we gone? Could have stayed in with Thunderous again. <laughs> Again, okay. Well, we do manage to take that, uh, and this is just proc our wiki berry, and it's all about whether or not we can get uh, the mama swine now. Uh, I feel like we, maybe, maybe we'll see. Yeah, okay. Now the Mamo's gone. Now Thunderous feels a lot more free now. Like it's going to have a way better time. We've still got Finny kicking around, which is always very useful. Um, I think my opponent's got one turn of Tailwind left. And this is the thing, like, I know this team that I'm playing against. So I know the threats. I got an advantage here, you know? And it's still difficult for me. Like... We st this team, you've got to play very carefully around uh, speed control if you're playing the team that I'm featuring today. Um, uh, the, the prankster tailwind and stuff like that can be tricky. So you've got to just take your time with the team um, when you are playing it. Okay, well, the uh, incinero coming in. That's fine. Um, what's the last one? It's not Rillaboom. They haven't got Rillaboom. No way. So they definitely 100% haven't got Rillaboom. I think... I think they've got Reggie Drago in the back. If I'm completely honest with you, I think they got Reggie Drago in the back. So I'm going to take this opportunity. Uh, I could just double protect here on the fake out. I think I'm going to do that. And then the next turn, they're going to have to tailwind again. And I think that's what they'll do. And then I'm going to Bulldoze switch Metagross in. Because I'm going to keep Finny. For later because I just have this inkling that it is Reggie Drago in the back. Doesn't make any sense to bring it in now. If you had Rotom Wash or if you had Rillaboom, you'd have brought it in. You'd have brought it a hundred percent brought it in now. There's no way you wouldn't. You would get rid of the Finny and then you like you create that win condition. So there's the air slash on after the anti and what we're gonna see from parting shot. Huh, okay. Really interested to deal with that Entai. Okay, well, we're going to go Bulldoze. And we're going to bring in Metagross. 
let's see let's see what happens but we're probably going to see a tailwind parting shot i'd imagine and then a reggie drago hit the field although you don't need the tailwind it does help out a bit obviously with the bulldoze being a thing there's the tailwind yep that's fine parting shot go on be into the metagross perfect we get the bulldoze Okay, now we're in a nice spot. Because we can bulldoze again the next turn, protect Metagross, and we're in a, a, a phenomenal spot. Um, the Incineroar probably will outspeed us still uh, with the Tailwind, and the rain has stopped. So uh, we will go for that bulldoze again, Misty Terrain, leaving the field. Uh, I'd imagine we'll probably see Reggie Drago come in now off the parting shot. But it's not the worst thing in the world because we still got Finny to bring in and all we really need we don't necessarily need to have Finny on the field we just need the terrain which will help us out a bunch they may just go for the attack into the Metagross as well they may not want to switch around we'll see we'll see we'll see But it will be interesting to see. Yeah, just straight switch. Is it Drago? It's Rotom. Okay. Okay, well that changes things. That changes a lot of things. Because we're just wasting a turn here with Entai. But we do have Snarl. Um, and there's the Air Slash. And it does so much damage, doesn't it? So much damage. Okay. Um, I don't really fancy keeping in town. I mean, hmm, well, Thunderous here is in incredibly good. Um, but I don't really want to switch it in for Entai just yet. I think we'll switch in Tapu Fini here. And we will go for... It's hard because, like, hmm. Actually, I think what we'll do is... We'll go for a Snarl. I might just drop Entai completely. And we'll go for an Ice Punch. Because if I can get rid of the Tornadus, then we get rid of the Tailwind. Uh, I know it's sashed, so... Okay. They're going to chase down the Metagross, I think. Oh, they got a nasty plot, which is fine. I kind of am alright with that. Because now we get rid of the Tornadus, and now we just need to stall out this Tailwind. And we're in a good spot. Or a good-ish spot. The nasty plot is is worrying though. And this is why Rotom's so good as well. You know, I mentioned in the video featuring this team, the the uh, the Reggie Drago team, like Rotom is an incredibly strong Pokemon against something like Metagross when you haven't then you aren't running Zen Headbutt. So if you haven't seen that video, go back, check it out. I'll link it up above for you. And it'll be linked in the description. Be linked everywhere so you can find it. Um okay. Instead of coming back in, we've got the fake out pressure here. So we'll just protect. Just going to double check. See, Tailwind runs out, which is perfect. This next turn. Um, so then we can snarl again. It's whether or not they fake out our nasty plot, which would be the play, I think. I think if my opponent does that, that causes us all sorts of problems. But then we still have Torn Thunderous to come in. Um, what we need to do is get rid of the Incineral, which we can do the next turn. Um, we can Snarl, Stomp and Tantrum. And then Thunderous can come in. I know we need a bit of chip onto the Rotom to, to deal with it. And we still got four Pokemon, so we're kind of in a decent spot. But like I say, I do have the kind of advantage here because I know the team. Because it is our team. My team. <laughs> um, there's the, the Fake Out. And we can see another nasty plot. So there's the play. Really good play. Like, really good play. In this position... It's really difficult for my opponent, but they're doing all the right things, you know. Um, yeah, but we have to, we have to snarl. Is it better to snarl? Yeah, I think we have to snarl. We have to mitigate the damage. They're going to go after the Metagross. Um, it's just whether or not the. I don't know if the Rotom will outspeed Metagross. That's the issue. Okay, well, I don't think we got too many options here. I don't think... No, I think Metagross will outspeed the Rotom. 
We don't have much bleed investment on that Rotom, so I think... Okay, well, we avoid... Incineroar, but that's not, the, that's not the big thing. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, so we, we've got a pretty speedy Metagross as well. Uh, and that's to mainly take advantage of the Bulldoze, really. Because um, you don't want to be too slow. Hydro Bump coming out, and we will lose Metagross. Yeah, it makes sense to do that. I think he could have probably got away with a Thunderbolt there. Just to be a little safer. If that misses, then it, it gets even more difficult. Um, and we'll bring Thunderous in. And I think... Oh, we don't want to lose Thunderous just yet. We need to kind of... Hmm. I think what we'll do is we'll Sacred Fire while we've got the opportunity to, and we'll Protect. If we can get a burn. This Entai just doesn't burn anything, though. Literally, the amount of games I've had with this Entai. And Sacred Fire's got like a 50% burn rate. And I'm not counting the times when the Misty Terrain's been up on the field, honestly. <laughs> it's just, it just, it's literally not burnt. I mean, I've fired about three into a Landorus um, earlier on today. And like, none of them burnt. And I just needed one. Just one. I still won the match, but it was, it was like, come on, give me a break. But this Entai just doesn't seem to have hot enough Sacred Fires. See? There's my point, exactly. Right, there's another nasty plot. Uh, okay. It is just boosting itself up. I think we'll go for another Sacred Fire, try to get the burn. Because we need to try and, and get the, the Rotom down to a point where the Citrus Berry is procced. Because Thunderous, if it's below 50%, I think Thunderous can maybe deal with it. Ugh, this is so difficult. This is so difficult. We need an Amoongus here. But then we needed the rest of the Pokemon to kind of help out with, with the majority of the team that we were facing. So, come on. Nasty plot. It must be like plus five at the minute. I don't know. Plus four, plus five. Like whatever it's going to hit on my team, it's going to pick up the knockout. I think you have to target Thunderous here though. Yeah, so there's a Misty Terrain. It doesn't matter about the Sacred Fire because Rotom's obviously not affected by it being a levitating Pokemon. Um, we get another one. So it's doing decent damage, you know, with a Charcoal Boost. And, ah, that's the first burn we've got. That really helps us out a bunch. So I think that helps us, solidifies the, the chance for us to take it down. Now we should lose Finny here. And then... Yeah. So Finny will go down and then we get the double up with Thunderous and Entai and we'll be able to deal with, with Rotom from there. So that should lock the game up for us at this point. Um, yeah, the Sacred Fires are doing so much damage even though it's resisted with the Charcoal and a lot of attack investment. Entai is doing a crazy amount of damage. So here we go. This should be the last turn pending any disasters. Um, we'll Sacred Fire and we will go for a Thunderbolt. We do have Grass Knot on Thunderous. Obviously, I mentioned it earlier on in the in the, the episode. And it does knock out Mama Swine. It's just... It's difficult. You kind of need to have a board position where you've got a Moongus to help you kind of mitigate. We're just going to see the Protect. I guess stalling out the Sacred Fires, thinking... But I have maxed them out, so we're, we're kind of alright on that, that front. Um, Yeah, you kind of need the redirection. Uh, because you obviously can't... You can't intimidate Mammoth Swine for the most part with the obvious ability. Um, so you kind of need the redirection support. And if you can get that, then the Grass Knot will 100% always knock out a Mammoth Swine um, with the Life Orb. It's like 154% minimum, I think. It's nuts. Like, Thunderous Therian is so powerful. We haven't got to see the double genies yet, though. We've got to see one genie in this match. Okay, we didn't even need any help there so very good game to my opponent i hope you've been enjoying the team give us a shout out in the comments if you do see this episode and um i hope you've been enjoying it pleasure playing you my friend and uh we will move swiftly on to our next opponent of the episode okay we've got our next opponent playing a team of regigigas wheezing Landorus, Metagross, Tapu Fini, and Zapdos. So we've got that infamous, that infamous core there of Regigigas and Weezing. The first thing that's standing out from my opponent's team there for us. Obviously with the uh, neutralizing gas, it takes away the slow start from the Regigigas. Got to be careful around it, but the key is to deal with the, the Weezing. Take the Weezing out of the, the equation, and then the matchup gets a lot easier. 
there's not very much speed control on my opponent's team. Um, they've got max airstream options on the Landorus and the Zapdos. Uh, but outside of that, maybe Icy Wind on the Finny, but not really too much else. Obviously, max strike on the Regigigas. I think here I'm going to go end time Metagross. Uh, I feel like it's a decent lead for us. Um, I think I bring Thunderous Theory in and I think Landorus as well, honestly. Landorus feels good in the last slot. So, yeah, we'll go with that. We'll bring the double genies. Got to bring the double genies. It's all about the double genies in this episode. In this... <laughs> it's not really. It's about all the Pokemon. You know, Entai was like probably the starting point. Um, initially before throwing in Thunderous, Landorus, when I was looking at ways to kind of deal with Regieleki. Um, but the, the, the fact that Entai gets in a focus now is just incredible. Uh, it took me so long to get an ability patch. Honestly, I'm going to do a separate video on the ability patch. Because I feel like it's warranted. There's a rant incoming. But um, yeah, I'll save that for another video. But yeah, it took me so long to get. Okay, so there's the Weezing. And there is the Regigigas. Uh, we can bulldoze. And oh, we haven't got a clear body though, have we? So it's a little bit awkward. It's a little bit awkward. It is a little bit awkward. I mean, we can max bulldoze and go. We could bulldoze. Hmm. Uh, just the max strike is going to do a lot of damage. You'll probably take down Entai as well, you know. We could Sacred Fire. Hmm. I don't really want Metagross to get burnt. That's the only issue. Like, we could... <sighs> okay. Let's just Bulldoze. Let's just hope it's a slow wheezing. Oh, we run out of time. Are you... Oh, okay. Well, we're just going to protect Metagross. Okay, well, the slow start's going to actually begin. Okay. Faffing around. Faffing around too much. Ideally, I would have liked to have bulldozed. Um, but they're not going to max the Regigigas, which I was kind of expecting. I was expecting Regigigas to max. Got max strike into Entai. Um, it's probably good we didn't go for the Sacred Fire, to be honest. Just because... The Misty Terrain would have mitigated that anyway, so we wouldn't have been able to really make much use of it. Alright, well, we get the speed drop on both opposing Pokemon, which definitely helps. Ah, uh, we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose Entai to a Giga Impact. Well, we're not. <laughs> That's how much the slow start affects. Like, honestly, it's, it's horrendous. Well, I mean... Do we max Quake or max... I think we just... I think... Max Steel Spike, for sure, into the Finny. Let's just do that. Could max Quake to get the Special Defense boost. But... <clears throat> I think it's alright. I think it's alright. We'll just Bulldoze while we've got the opportunity to. The Regigigas isn't doing anything here. We may lose Entai. This turn... Um, but our clear body is still in effect. Now, the thing to do probably here would have been switch maybe the Weezing back in. Um, although, probably not, you know. It just uh, The only thing it would do is take away a clear body and you're going to lose Weezing for it. And it's not really worth it. The long run. We get our, our Bulldoze off. We get a bit of chip damage onto both opposing Pokemon. And we are going to be able to get the Max Steel Spike into the Tapu Fini, which is now sitting on minus two. Um, I don't know if a plus... Two, is it going to be enough? Yeah, of course it is. Okay, there we go. And we make sure we get rid of the Finny, which is amazing. Get to keep Entai around for another turn. Uh, and it might be worth switching in Landorus, honestly, the next turn, just to get an Intimidate onto that Regigigas. The other option is obviously just stay in and just go for another Bulldoze if the, the Weezing comes back onto the field, which it does. Um... We don't need to worry about being burnt now either, which is nice. So we could just go for... Mm, I probably shouldn't go for the Bulldoze. Because obviously a clear body's gone. I think the switch in to Landorus is not a bad one. Get the Intimidate drop. And... Yeah, just go for another Steel Spike into the Regigigas. Because the defense boosts are going to help us out massively. Like, Regigigas is really, really reliant on that massive physical attack. So reducing it is going to help us out to no end. And here it comes. I think this is going to be the big bad Gigas. It is maxing. Unless it's wheezing. Nah, it's a Regigigas. Of course it is. 
such a beast. It's such a cool Pokemon. I am going to make the team, like, I'm going to make a team around this pairing. Like I mentioned at the very beginning of this week, it is something I'm working on, but it's not something I want to put up until it's 100% right. Because I think I've got, to, I've got to get it right to put it out. Because I think there's so many holes. Like, if any of you watched uh, Marcus's uh, Moxie Boosted's, um, like, take on it, he did an episode on on this pairing. And I, I have to agree with, like, the majority of stuff he says. It's very clunky. Like, wheezing is very difficult to... Uh, I think you've got to get the speed tier, like, spot on with it. And um, I think fill in a lot of holes that this pairing has. So we do get a crit there, take down the Regigigas, which is pretty lucky, but I think it's probably not going to affect the outcome of the match too much, I don't think. Um, and Lander is coming back onto the field. Mm. Okay, well, I mean, just Ice Punch and go for... Let's go U-turn. I mean, hmm, do we even care about the Lander? Let's just Steel Spike. The wheezing while we've got the opportunity to it's probably Babiri berry but there's the match cancelled and uh, we do pick up a nice victory so that is very good game to my opponent and uh, at least we, we see the team in a little different aspect there with the bulldoze stuff going on in that last game and we'll uh we'll jump straight over now and get you that rental code friends right friends here is the rental code for this episode's team the metagross landorus entai amoongus tapu finny and thunderous theory form we didn't get to see as much of the thunderous theory form as i would have liked to i would have liked to have seen a match against regieleki or something like that i would have been very good to kind of showcase it in that situation but it is a very strong pokemon base 101 speed outspeeds the majority of a lot of the threats in this format um the, there is an option obviously to consider if you want to tweak this team going forward i've i've thought about personally putting maybe bulldoze on lander's theory and form and trying also to integrate maybe jolteon into the team because it gets that discharge so you would take advantage of your vault absorb uh, you'd have access to fake tiers and a lot of different options as well so Jolteon, Thunderous, something I'll be playing around with. I think it's something that has a lot of potential, but it would really disrupt the whole balance of the team right now. So I think this overall is quite good. See, we didn't get to see the little old Amoongus today, but it is there. The redirection is very useful. The Yachi Berry on it as well helps out against Glastria, which is obviously a big Trick Room threat at the minute in the new format. But all in all, I feel like the team is very solid. It does a very nice job against a lot of things. And if you try it out, I hope you have a lot of fun with it. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you're new to the channel, do consider subscribing for more of this content and the other Pokemon content that we do here on the channel. And um, I'm going to just leave it there. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. As always, friends, have a great rest of your day. And I'll catch you all for another episode very soon. So until then, take care and bye-bye.